It's pretty clear by now that spending crypto is not easy. Most merchants don't even want to bother with it. The global volume of crypto purchases is just 2 billion versus traditional fiat purchases of 3 trillion. In order for merchants to accept crypto, it would require them to invest in a completely different infrastructure. And it really doesn't make financial sense for them to do that. You do have companies trying to make it easier to spend crypto, but here again lies a bunch of problems. They all require users to transition between different currencies, plus long wait times and high fees. And many of these solutions require you to hold a certain amount of cryptocurrency just to pay the fees. It's all very time consuming, clunky, and expensive. Fees can reach up to 5% on the merchant side as well. The other problem is that people really don't like spending their crypto as they regret it when the price of their crypto jumps higher. So what Cryptarium solves is three things. It has to make it really easy and cheap for merchants to adopt it. It has to make normal consumer adoption really easy and cheap. And it has to have a low cost way to allow consumers to borrow against their crypto holdings. So they're incentivized to spend their crypto while still hodling it, holding on for dear life. And it also has to be seamless for merchants so that when using it, they won't even know they're accepting crypto. For merchants, Cryptarium allows the entire transaction to happen in their local currency. Even the fees which are paid for in the network's native crypto are seamlessly deducted without having to buy or hold anything other than the currencies you want. Even better for merchant adoption, the fees are capped at 1-2% to versus 3% or more charged by traditional payment companies. So merchants get lower costs, they don't ever touch crypto, and they can use their existing payment networks to receive payment. On the consumer side, it gets even better. Consumers pay small transaction fees of just half a percent versus fees, versus fees as high as 3% with other crypto payment platforms. The best of all, Cryptarium is super easy to use. You can set it up in minutes and buy crypto in an instant. You simply link your bank account, then you add your dollars, pounds, euros, or whatever currency you would like. You can automatically buy or deposit crypto. Once, you're, once you've loaded up your card, you can spend your money anywhere credit cards are accepted. And if you don't want to spend your actual crypto, you can easily borrow money against your crypto at rates that start at just half a percent per month. To date, as of making this video, Cryptarium is one of the best payment solutions found in the crypto marketplace for merchants and consumers for the reasons I just listed. They also have a solid global team of well over 90 people. What's great about Cryptarium is that the heavy lifting is done. It has a product that works. A year ago from making this video, it made some bold promises and Unlike many of the other project it delivered, a recent deal with UnionPay, the world's largest credit card issuer, allows Cryptarium users to spend crypto at over 42 million locations. Users can even use the global ATM network to convert their crypto into cash. The CRPT token underlies the Cryptarium mobile app. CRPT is special in that every time someone uses the Cryptarium app or the Cryptarium card to make a purchase, they are charged a half a percent fee in CRPT. And this all happens without the user having to hold any CRPT. All right, so in this video, I want to share how to purchase Cryptarium on the KuCoin exchange, 
which I will include a link below in order to get started with that exchange. Now you can purchase Bitcoin and Cryptarium directly on your Cryptarium app on your phone. But when I just tried to enter my my credit card or my debit card, it said that I need to ha I needed to be from a different country. So as of this video, I may not if you're in the United States, you may not be able to actually purchase Bitcoin and therefore Cryptarium directly on the app, you may need to go through an exchange such as KuCoin. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously create an account here with KuCoin. And then you want to transfer Bitcoin into your KuCoin account. So to transfer Bitcoin, and I may be blocking a lot of this stuff out to hide information. You can see here I have $51.94. If you head over to assets and you go to main account, deposit and withdraw. And on the left, you go to deposit. If you click in this box and you could type in BTC and then click BTC Bitcoin. And this here is your deposit address. Now I'm obviously going to be blocking this out, but this is the address that you want to send Bitcoin from, whether you have Bitcoin in Gemini, you have it in Binance, if you have some Bitcoin in Coinbase, wherever you're located, wherever you have Bitcoin, you wanna send it to this address right here, your wallet address. So that should be pretty simple. If you don't know how to do that, there are probably plenty of other videos. And if I create a video about how to do that, I will link it in this video. So after you send Bitcoin to KuCoin to this address here, you can then head over to the left and you will see deposit and withdraw history. And eventually that will show up as a successful with a successful deposit. And let's head over back to, all right, so this, if you click back at overview, now I already did a step that you will need to do. So when this Bitcoin goes into your KuCoin account, it will be right here under main accounts. You will see the USD and the BTC here. Now, what you want to do is move that Bitcoin to the right under trading account. Now this was kind of confusing the first time I did it, and all you have to do here is click transfer, main account to trading account. Now there's nothing I can transfer because I don't have any Bitcoin in my main account. But if I did, I could do Bitcoin and I could, you see available amount is zero. You could basically just click all of this, click this whatever numbers here, it'll put all the Bitcoin you have and then confirm. Now this just adds another layer of security to, to um, this exchange. So once you have your Bitcoin in your trading account, go ahead on the top left here and click markets. And let's see, I could be doing this wrong. It could be a quicker way to do this, but let's type in here for search, CRPT, Cryptarium. Oops, CRPT. CRPT, and then just click anywhere on this bar, this where it says CRPT BTC. And this will open up, I hope, a trading window. All right, don't let this freak you out. Now in your security, if you've created a six digit trading password, this is where you will enter this. All right, so I just entered my trading password. Um, that's just an added layer of security. I suggest you do it, but it's not n required because I don't keep money on KuCoin. I, I don't keep coins on KuCoin. I buy things here and then I move them to some a place that's more secure. Um, but you can't buy Cryptarium on a lot of exchanges other than KuCoin or directly through the app. So, all right, available, it says I have $51.81. Now we're already on the top here. It says CRPT. 
CRPT. So we're already trading CRPT to Bitcoin. <clears throat> now, if you just want to buy some, you can just click market here and best market price, best market price. And I'm just going to buy as much as $51. So it, it, this will take out uh, about Let's see, 71 cents. This will take out five cents in fees, which is fantastic. That's not, that's very cheap. So five cents goes to KuCoin for this trade. Um, and that's it. So buy CRPT. I clicked on 100% here. If you want to click 100%, that would just bring all of my available balance into this trade. So I'm just going to buy it. I'm going to buy $51 worth of CRPT. So trade is successfully awesome. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna go back, assets, trading account, transfer. I wanna move it from my trading to my main account. Coin, Cryptarium, I'm gonna click this blue number. That's gonna bring all of my available balance into here. And then I'm gonna click confirm. And that is that that simple so now assets let's see if I go to overview I'm sure it'll show me there and you can see here I have cryptarium in my account 99.6 percent cryptarium so from here you do want to move this onto your cryptarium app on your phone would be my suggestion to you versus keeping it on KuCoin. Now you could argue that, Ku I mean, KuCoin's been around for many, many years. You could argue that it's uh, possibly even safer than the app, to be honest, um, because there are many, many, many levels of security built into KuCoin, um, from Google 2FA to a separate trading password to, um, you know, confirming that you're not a robot, <laughs> all these sorts of things. So you may, you know, want you, may, you could keep it here, um, I suggest bringing it over to your um, your app on your phone. Um, you can also store it as an ERC20 token, as like an Ethereum token. Now, that's kind of a separate topic. If you already know how to do that, meaning if you have a My Ether wallet uh, and you store tokens there, you can actually store this directly uh, via my ether wallet you don't have to keep it on KuCoin nor do you have to keep it on your app so now if I click withdraw and CRPT it's already highlighted but if not you can just CRPT alright and this is when you need to head over to your app on your phone and I'll show you some pictures of this you would go to, let's see. All right, so you would go to, on your app, you would go to sh show all wallets, CRPT, and then top up. You would click the little plus that says top up. So that is gonna give you a full uh, wallet address that you will wanna copy securely and somehow maybe you can email it to yourself um, or you can somehow you know get it into this wallet address you would copy and paste it right here and that means you will be withdrawing your CRPT from KuCoin and essentially sending it to your CRPT address or CRPT wallet on your app so it's a little it's a little more confusing to do this and I co and I totally get it guys but I'll try to make this as easy as I can uh, rewatch the video a few times if you get stuck um, but you definitely want this on your address or on your wallet on your phone now if you're able to in your country to enter your credit card um, you can actually maybe do it from your again you may be able to do it all from your app um, you can also an easier way to do this would actually be to find your Bitcoin wallet in the Cryptarium app and just send Bitcoin directly from 
wherever you're storing Bitcoin into your app. And I may make a separate video how to do that as well because this is a little bit a little bit complicated. So okay, so that is it. Uh, and then you will have Bitcoin in your in your address or in your cryptarium wallet. And you could store it there. Guys, take care. Bye-bye.